Dice are used for generating random numbers in a variety of social and gambling games. Known since ancient times, dice have been called the oldest gaming instrument. They are typically cube shaped and marked with one to six dots on each face. The most common method of dice manufacture involve injection molding of plastic followed by painting. Dice have been used for gaming and divination purposes for thousands of years. Evidence found in Egyptian tomb has suggested that this civilization used them as early as 2000 BC. Other data shows that primitive civilization throughout the America also used dice. These dice were composed of ankle bones from various animals. Marked on four faces, they were likely used as magical devices that could predict the future. The ancient Greek and Romans used dice made of bone and ivory. The dice of most of these early cultures were made in numerous shapes and sizes. The modern day cubicle dice originated in China and have been dated back as early as 600 BC. They were most likely introduced to Europe by Marco Polo during the 14th. Dice were typically handcrafted and produced on a small scale up until the 20th century. As plastic technology emerged, methods for applying it to dice manufacture were developed. This allowed manufacturers to produce mass quantities of dice in cost-effective manners. Over the years, a variety of patents for improved methods of dice manufacturers have been granted. Talking about the design, the standard die is a six-sided plastic cube. Each side is typically marked with one to six spots on dots. These dots are arranged such that opposite sides always total seven. In a two dice game, the dice are shaken and thrown on a surface. The rolled amount is indicated by the sides of the dice that are face up. Some popular gambling games that use dice include crabs, chuckaluck, and poker dice. Board games such as backgammon, ludo, monopoly, and parcheesi also use dice. Standard dice are available in a wide variety of sizes and colors. For board games, a pair of 12 mm dice are typically used. These dice are considered imperfect because they have rounded corners, which reduce randomness. Since these dice are often used in children's games, they must be designed to meet certain toy safety standards. Casinos use perfect dice that may be handmade. They are generally larger than a board game dice with a side measuring 33 mm. These are red transparent dies which have precision edges and corners and white dots. With this construction, rolls with these dies have the greatest probability of being fair. Numerous materials have been forged into dies throughout history. This includes such things as bones, glass, wood, seeds and metals. Today, the most widely used base material for dice manufacture is plastic. Plastic are high molecular weight polymers that are produced through a variety of chemical reactions. For a plastic to be suitable in dice manufacture, it must have a good impact strength, be easily colored and heat stable. It is also desirable that it be clear, colorless and transparent. Most dice are made with a thermoset plastic. One plastic that meets all of these requirements is polymethyl methacrylate. Cellulose based plastic are also used. At the beginning of a dice manufacturing line, plastic pellets are transformed into dice via injection molding. The pellets are plastic beads that have all the colorant and fillers already added. They are placed into a large bin known as the hopper and passed through a hydraulically controlled screw. As they travel through the screw, they are heated and melted. At the end of this screw is a spreader, which injects the molten material into a cool closed two-piece mold. The mold is made of several chambers, which create multiple plastic parts. Inside the mold, the plastic is held under pressure and then allowed to cool. 
As it cools, the plastic piece is hardened. The mold is then opened. When the mold is opened, the individual pieces are forced together to form a single solid cube. Because of the mold was properly designed, this cube has indentation that will become the dots on each side. The cube is then ejected from the mold, coated and passed to the next phase of the production via conveyor. Meanwhile, the two-piece mold closes again making it ready to create the next die. To complete the production of the die, they may be washed and dried before the final decoration are applied. First, the spots are properly painted. First, special dies. Words may be printed or images may be applied to each side. Company logos or other advertising may be also applied. These can be stickers or coating. The coatings used during this step are specially formulated to adhere to the plastic and dry quickly. Depending on the final use of the dies, they may be bulk packaged for use in board games or individually wrapped for consumer sale. For board games, the dies are packed up to into boxes and shipped to the game manufacturer just like any other component material. When they are sold directly to the consumer, dies are typically put into plastic blisters bag with a cardboard packing. This package has the dual purpose of protecting the dies during shipping and advertising the product. The finished dies are then placed in the cases and shipped by the trucks to distributors. To ensure that each die produced meets specified quality standards, a number of quality control measures are taken. For example, stress strain testing can be performed to determine the strength of the plastic. Impact tests help determine the toughness of plastic. During manufacture, line inspectors are stationed at various points on the production line. Here, they visually check the plastic parts to make sure they are shaped, sized and colored correctly. They also check the integrity of final packaging. If any defective dyes are found, they are removed from the production line and set aside for reforming. Computers are also used for control plastic use, mold retention time and line speed. In future, dyes manufacturers will concentrate on increasing sales and improving the production process. To increase sales, dyes marketers will be involved in developing new games that utilize different type of dyes. These games will require new type of dyes that may have different shape, size and plastic composition. From a production standpoint, future improvements will focus on increasing manufacturing speed, minimizing chemical waste and reducing overall cost. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like, comment and share.